So good morning you guys, today I'm going to be cleaning out my Russian Dwarf Hamster Bluebells enclosure. I'm really 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 excited to do this, I've been wanting to do this video for a couple of weeks but I've just been super 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 busy and today is the day where I'm finally going to sort out her cage. So I actually asked over on my Instagram a couple of days ago if you would prefer me to do this as a chatty video or a video with just music and a majority of you actually said a chatty video. I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing. Um, and what my plans are for her cage. At the moment she has a natural theme going on. There's um, some pink elements, like she's got a pink food dish, a pink hammock and stuff. And then it was Easter a month ago um, and I ended up putting some Easter themed stuff in her cage. So I got her these egg lights um, because I always like to decorate my hamster cages with matching lights on the outside. I paid like 20 pounds for these lights. I know it's crazy, they're not even worth 20 pounds, but I just really wanted to get some Easter themed lights fast. And I also popped in this really cute um, pastel colored garland with very spring Eastery colors. Um, and I also popped in this hanging shoe as well. So both of them are handmade. You can purchase them over on my Etsy store, which is called Tiny Paws on Cut and I sell a bunch of handmade treat toys and cage accessories for small animals. So yeah, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, what I'm going to be putting into her cage. So you might be able to tell but Bluebell is going to be getting a blue themed enclosure. I don't think I've ever done a blue themed enclosure so I'm really excited. So it's going to be natural slash blue. So I'm going to start off here with these hammocks. So I really like to use hammocks in my cages now that I actually have lids. So I love to get my hammocks by a company called Smudge and Mr. Moo. You can find them over on Instagram. So the pattern I went for was this really nice Bluebell um, flower pattern which is perfect because my hamster is actually called Bluebell um, and I love flowers and the blue on this was just beautiful. So I got one hammock with um, white fleece and then I got this second hammock with this really nice blue fleece. So I'm really looking forward to popping these in her cage. Um, I also went to Ikea the other week and picked up this lint roller. Um, so this is so that I can clean Bluebell's hammock because they do collect sand and her fur. Um, I noticed that Bluebell doesn't really shake off all the sand off her fur. So it kind of just like gets all over her hammocks and the lint roller is the perfect way to clean them. And um, Bluebell's really good with her hammocks. She doesn't chew them or anything. She just runs across them so I've got that um, here we've got a selection of food dishes so I actually give bluebell water in a dish now I have this really cute hide which I got last year I haven't used it yet and I want to put this in bluebell's sand dish. I also got her a new name sticker um, I get my name stickers by a company called furnishable and here I've got this chamber hideaway I got this off eBay this is what it looks like inside I have this tunnel this is by Rosewood then over here we've got some hanging shoes so these are the ones that I've handmade and then I've just got this um, I forgot what this is called but I think it's the small ball rush ball and this is from pets at home and you guys know I absolutely love using lights on my cages I always have lights to match the theme so I went ahead and I bought these ones off Amazon and these are just blue blue flower lights as for substrate I like to use um, Care Fresh Natural, so I went ahead and I bought this big bag. I think it was like £23 off Amazon. Care Fresh is quite expensive. Um, so the main substrate I actually use is this really nice hemp substrate. Um, I'll see if I can link it below in the description. So I didn't mention before, um, but Bluebell really does like Care Fresh, especially in um, her hideaway. So although she does sleep in her chamber hide occasionally, she will sleep under her resin rock hideaway. Um, and she's actually brought bits of care fresh um, from the other side of the cage and she's put it inside and made a little nesting area for herself it's really really cute so I'll also show you guys the sand that I use so I just have it in this container here which is from Ikea and the sand I use is reptile sand from Pets at Home it's really 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 good I've been using it for a little while now and I'm going to be using these Pets at Home antibacterial cage cleaning wipes absolutely love these they're really good for wiping down your hamster's wheel um, and all of that kind of stuff and yeah I don't use these too often but it is quite nice to have them in my collection and yeah that was just a really quick rundown of um, the stuff that I'm going to be using in her enclosure and all the substrates and all that kind of stuff if you have any more questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments or you can dm me on instagram and i'll get back to you when i can and yeah let's just make a start on sorting out this cage 
So I thought I would update you on how I'm getting on with sorting out Bluebell's cage. So I started removing all of the items in the enclosure. Um, eventually Bluebell did wake up. So I prepped her um, carrier. I put some substrate in there um, and then I let her climb into um, her wheel and then popped her in her carrier. I put a little hideaway in there um, and then I sprinkled some food. So she just went around um, and picked up the pieces of food and now she's just sitting in there. I removed quite a bit of the substrate. I will be keeping a lot of it in there and mixing it in with the fresh substrate that I put in that way she has a pretty familiar scent and um, I only really needed to remove mostly the top layer anyway because the bottom layers were pretty much untouched and I've just went ahead and removed her name sticker and the lights on the front of the cage I used a lint roller to clean her hammock that was really quick and easy to do um, so now I can go ahead and put her hammock away with my collection of hammocks I'm building quite a collection um, I feel like I don't have enough I need to get more um, so that I have a hammock for every single theme that I do and what I did with the wooden items is I've just put them into a bag used a little bit of this um, insect spray uh, which is really good to kill any insects or eggs or anything like that I've just sprayed a little bit in the bag and tied the bag I done that outside of my bedroom um, so I'm just gonna leave that in the bag for a little while before I put the wooden items away with the rest of my hamster supplies so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the cage is looking like at the moment so as you can see the cage is pretty empty um over on this side i just need to wipe that down with a wipe so that it's all nice and clean um and then over in this section is all the substrate that i've decided to leave in the cage So I finished setting up Bluebell's cage and it looks really sweet but I feel like it looks a little bit empty in a way. I feel like I need to add more stuff to it so it will probably change um, over time and I'll add more bits and bobs to it. But I put some Care Fresh in. I decided to just put the Care Fresh in her chamber hideaway because she really likes the Care Fresh in there and then the rest of the cage is pretty much just um, the hemp substrate. Um, so one side is quite deep and the other side is quite shallow and on the shallow side is where I like to put the wheel um, just because I find that it spins better if it's on shallow bedding and I also have these white rocks which I decided to put around the um, wheel and also around her chamber hide. Um, I've had them for a little while um, and I just thought that they would look really nice in the cage, something different for her. I also went ahead and put her name sticker on as well as the blue flower lights. So it's looking really cute and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a really quick overview of the entire cage. So first off we have her name sticker and as you can see we have the blue lights that just run across the top of the cage. On this lid I have the coconut hide which she had before um, a blue hammock and I've just added some hooks so then it hangs a little bit lower in the cage and then I have the blue garland that I made and then we've got her other hanging coconut at the bottom we've got her new chamber hide which I've filled with care fresh at the back we've got her water dish and I've also popped some food in her food dish and as you can see I have all of the white rocks down here and um, got her wheel which is from pets at home and moving on to the next side got this hanging tube that i made and um, we've also got the other hammock um down there i've got the big rock hideaway i've just buried it she's got another hanging tube there she's got a dandelion root whimsies chew and the small ball rush chew and then over there in the corner she's got her sand dish and a little hideaway in there which she would probably use as a potty I feel like it needs a little bit more um it looks a bit plain um i'm just so used to the sort of cluttered natural looking cage um so that's probably why it looks a bit empty but she has a lot of space much it for today's video hope you enjoyed watching it if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below um now i've got to pretty much just tidy up my room and put all of my hamster bits and bobs away and um yeah so like i said i hope you enjoyed watching it if you want to see more of bluebell go ahead and check out my instagram it's called tiny paws and co and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video so bye for now mm -hmm.